Can I even rehab this amazing Carly bag from Coach? And it does have wear, but we're going to try to clean it up and rehab it and see what we come up with. So if you want to know my steps on trying to rehab a Coach Carly bag, then stay tuned. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Andrea, and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. This is a rehab bag that I bought, and I hope I can bring it back to life. It is the Coach Carly Hobo, and that's, I just learned that from the uh, serial number inside, but as you can see, this bag has seen better days. And I hope to bring it back a little bit from, from you know, it's got some corner wear here. But we're going to try to rehab this bag. And here's the back of it with some cleaning, some conditioning. Uh, the, the hardware looks to be okay to me. Um, but I might do that as well. And so let me show you the inside of the bag. It has a nice zipper pull that definitely has seen better days but i only paid uh 29 dollars and that included shipping for this bag <laughs> so it has this big giant ring uh i don't know if you know if you wanted extenders or what but this clasp is huge <laughs> uh never seen one that big but so let's look inside so it's really soft leather and kind of heavy. So I am really hoping that I can bring this bag back to its former glory. But it has that cool purple lining. And here is the serial number. And there's a leather pull. The inside just needs to be cleaned. I don't see any stains turn it around yeah just a good thorough cleaning they might have thrifted this I mean I don't know here's the lining just taking a look at, at this myself with you didn't come with any tags or anything just the the patch and then there's a zipper pocket here Oh, I forgot uh, the hang tag didn't, is missing the little chain for it, so I'm sure I can come up with something there. So that's what was included. So, are you ready to see if I can bring this bag back to life? <laughs> well, let's find out together. So first things first, I wanted to show you the products that I'm going to use to restore, rehab this beautiful back in the day. I use the Apple Cleaner Leather Care, and that's the conditioner, and then this is the leather cleaner. So we start out with the leather cleaner for it. I just have a old, you know cloth right here and let's just start cleaning it I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of cleaner You always want to clean before you condition. And also, you want to let the cleaning solution dry before you even try to condition the bag. So that front has a good coating, and look how dirty it is. <laughs> and you just go from side to side until you get it done. Thank you. 
there are some loose stitches I notice um, right here, which was not disclosed, but I think that it'll be okay as long as people don't pull on it. But for now, we're just going to worry about cleaning and conditioning this bag. It's probably going to soak up the conditioner really good, too. Let's get to the back. We got to get the sides, the the bottom. Give it a good cleaning. See, there's some wear right here. Let's. I don't know if it's dirt. I don't know if it is wear. <clears throat> Might be dirt, might be wear. <laughs> I think I'm going to unbuckle these and get underneath there as well. This is some thick leather. Don't mind the buffalo plaid pants. <laughs> but this is, I wanted to do it on the floor so you could see what I, what I do to clean up bags and moisturize clean leather. I think all we have left to clean is the strap, so that looks pretty bad, doesn't it? You want to get every nook and cranny that you can. And then the underside of the strap. And like I said, you want to make sure this cleaner dries before you ever condition the, the bag as well. I always feel like straps are the dirtiest. And you probably agree with me, so I give it a good scrub on the strap. So that, oh, forgot this. I'm going to have to do that too. All the leather parts you must clean. <laughs> and a lot of fingers go on these tabs here too. And also, I need to do the... Good cleaning for sure needed to be done on this. Getting everything, all the leather bits, and there was some in here. And do that real quick. There's a zipper on each side. It's kind of a unique feature there. So while the cleaner is drying, I want to work on the inside right here. So I just pulled the lining out and what I'm going to use for the inside is the water wipes. Basically they're 99% water but they also have a little cleaning in them. I'm going to get a few of those out. Wipe this all down. And it doesn't hurt the leather. If you get a little bit on there, it's not gonna. You gotta get in the pockets. Get all the gross stuff out. And the lint, the hair, everything. Yeah, I just usually turn things inside out to clean. 
every nook and cranny. This was too good of a deal. I wanted to try to rehab it for you all to see if I actually could do it. Because this one's kind of not in great shape, but I still feel like it's it can be rehabbed. I don't know if I'll keep it or if I'll sell it, but I'll let you know. More hair. Ugh. I don't know if that's cat hair or human hair. Ugh. Whatever it is, it's gross. So now I'm going to let everything dry and then leave this purple lining, leave, leave it out until it dries. And then we'll get to the conditioning portion of this video. For the conditioning of the bag, I use these cotton rounds and soak those up because they're real light, um, real soft. So I just use those and then, of course, the Apple Leather Care Conditioner. So I let this sit for a good half hour and you can tell when it's dry. Um, and honestly, this leather is super dry. So I'm really hoping that we'll be able to bring back this bag to life. I'm still letting this dry. As you can see, it's still wet. So we're going to just let that air out over there while we do some conditioning. I don't know how many coats of conditioner this is going to need. <laughs> Uh, after one coat, I'm probably going to let it dry and then do another coat, possibly. It's uh, soaking up the moisture right now. <laughs> like, immediately soaking it up. I don't know if this bag's ever been cleaned or conditioned. And this is the front of the bag. You just want to cover this thing. Just cover it with conditioner. And then let that dry. Got a little fuzz on here. That's okay. So that's conditioner. So I've now cleaned the whole bag and the inside still drying. And I conditioned all the leather one time, but... I'm going to give it another coat because it looks dry still. So we're going to do another coat and the conditioner is dry from the first time. So we're going to go for condition number two. And I'll be back with the results, which is hopefully a difference that you can tell <laughs> between the cleaning products that I use. But... Everyone uses different cleaning supplies. This is what I use, what I what works best for me. Uh I was I might attempt to use my flits on the hardware cuz this really does work really good. Uh I might not show you on camera that part, but we will come back when it's all finished and I'll show you the finished product. Alright, we are now cleaned, conditioned twice, and man, that leather needed conditioned. I hope that you all can tell a difference. Let me show you up close. I mean, it's still, it looked more of a gray leather when I first started. It It's soaked up that conditioner so good. I hope that you can tell. I have the flash on, but I can tell it is much, much better condition after that cleaning. So under $30 rehab, 
nice leather coach, you know, hobo bag. I, I think it turned out pretty good. So tell me what you think down below. I hope that you could see the details and what I used. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still a little rough. The leather is so nice. I might have to condition it one more time after it dries. We'll see. I don't know. But it, it, this conditioner and cleaner makes this leather so soft. Uh, so, yep, I did my best. And that is the final product of this rehab. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have you rehabbed a bag? And what do you use? Sorry about that. But thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.